Hello and welcome to the Knit Girls. This is episode 610. I'm Laura, also known as Lala. I am Leslie, also known as You Don't Call Me Less. It's the 27th of March, 2023. Um, and Laura's spinning. I am. I'm spindling away. To the best of my ability. I just lost my... <laughs> Thank you. You just put them in there. Yeah, so um, I don't have a whole lot to show. Would you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? I mean, I can go. Everything I have is in the current status of hot mess. Really? Yeah. Um, well, except these socks. So I finished the first sock <clears throat> from my Spectrum uh, colorway of Woolens and Notch. So I finished the first one. A top down heel flap, 72 stitch sock, nothing super fancy. And I'm starting the second one, finish the ribbing, and I've got another two and a half, three inches before I start the heel flap. Um, so, no complaints on this one. This one is going fine. Uh, but my other two projects are, it's just a hot mess. Like, hot mess express. So, I'm working on recalibrate. Yeah, and you went with the hazelnuts? I went with the hazelnuts um, because it, the navy was very dark and didn't really have enough contrast, which I think we sort of talked about when you were showing them last week. Mm -hmm. um, so the two colors I'm using right now are is this um, Leather Bound by Flies and Hellhounds and this turquoise color by Hazelnuts. And I had gotten, so I, I joined the front and the back panels, and I had gotten maybe about two inches in, but I was doing the striping, um, four garter ridges each, and I like the look of the two garter ridges each better. It's less blocky, and it just looks nicer, I think. Um, so I ripped back about 20 rows, and... Um, just started the first row of the turquoise because uh, I figured if I didn't rip back at that point I would always wish I had so yeah just went ahead and did it so I feel like I've got negative progress on this this week but well you made up what you want I don't think you have negative because no, you hadn't I mean, even picked I hadn't the turquoise them together, yeah. but I've only got like five rows <laughs> well I think that's fine but uh you at least figured out what you wanted to do. It'll go fast once I start. Yeah, it'll you know, go super fast. Because it's just garter stitch. Not super complicated, just the construction of it is, is different. So, yeah, so that's what it looks like now. And then the other thing that I'm working on is the fan, which is a crochet pattern in a new pom-pom. And it's like sort of woven looking because yeah. of the way that you construct it and I spent several hours Saturday, working right? and ripping Saturday to try to get it to do what I want it's not the fault of the pattern I don't think I mean I think it's primarily just my inexperience with crochet um, instructions where it's more complicated to make a granny square you know yeah so they're all living in their own bag because it's three skeins and they're all attached constantly. You're just only working one of them at a time. Okay. So I'm using uh, Elizabeth Lebold Hempathy and then what was the other one? Silky Wool? Silky Wool. Uh, this is Hempathy, the other one's Silky Wool. And I was going to use a uh, uh, it's not Nobu, Habu Textiles. Yeah. Uh, viscose. It was like a cobweb weight. Yeah. That you held it double. It, it was, was like a paper yarn yeah. or something. Yeah. But the problem is it has no elasticity, and the other two do have elasticity. Yeah. And you sort of need a little bit. You need them to be kind of in the same general. Yeah. Like field. And you want a little elasticity, anyways. So probably. I pulled out some yarn from Jude oh, that cool. says a mohair and I do, do not remember the colorway 
Um, I don't remember if it's mohair or if it's alpaca and that's my hair. silk. Okay. Um, and it's a lace weight. So I pulled that out. Patisserie? Patisserie? Maybe patisserie, yeah. And this is what it looks like. Let me pull this off here. Like I said, I've got three skeins of yarn attached and it's complicated. But is it complicated? All right, let me just get some space here. All right, I can take the crochet hook out now. That is something nice about crochet. So when you're constructing this, you have to, as you're, okay, let me start over here. I have a really bad habit of not finishing my sentences, especially when I'm working, talking to people. So the first yarn that I did was the purple. And that was easy because I didn't have to go in front of or behind anything while I was crocheting. Okay. The next one was the gray and I had to remember to go in front of and behind and alternate and count. And it, I messed that up. I don't know how many times, a lot of times. And a couple of times I didn't realize it until I'd gone another row past it and had to mm. it back. Right. So, um, and then, and because these are constantly moving, I, I, took some wonder clips and I'm holding them together at intervals because otherwise it's, it's just impossible. And then with the lace weight, which is this like pinkish one, get some slack here. You have to go in front of and behind the other two at the same time. Like it's more complicated. It's very difficult. But now difficult that you figured it out. I mean, you feel better I, about it or no? I don't know. I was so frustrated with it that I put it down because I was like, I need a break. Yeah. I need to like not have to think about this for a little bit. So I, I'm going to try. I'm going to continue to try. It's just that like this little bit is dangly and fiddly and really annoying. Um, that I'm thinking this would be so much easier to make as a sewn garment. <laughs> But um, I do want to try because I really would like to have the finished item. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm getting a visit from the buffers. I, I'm trying. If anybody else has made it that's watching this, I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, it's a brand new pattern. It is a so. brand new pattern. And the only yeah, other baby. one on Ravelry, the pictures are like from as a work in progress. It's not even Can finished pictures. So. Can you come up? <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, there's Buff Buff. Hey, baby. It's my old pit bull girl. She doesn't come out much anymore because when Carly I'm visiting. Is a yeah. You can just hear Carly crying in the background, too. Is that your on call phone? Nope. That is the guy who does my lawn. Oh. Because I texted him and I was like, hey, <laughs> the grass is growing. It's It's gone straight to summer here yeah. in Mississippi. Um,. Did you have anything else to show? I did not. Okay. No, I don't think so. Nope. Cool. I have a smidge of work to show on the mustache socks. Not very much. I think I did, well, a half row apparently. Um, like five rows of ribbing and that was it. So I'm on the ribbing on the first sock. This should get some work done on it tomorrow because I'm a hall monitor for testing, for state testing. So that will get some work done on it tomorrow um so i have to have something i can walk around with i also need to remember to leave my apple watch at home but that is not neither here nor there um so this is mustache yarn it is her sport weight and the big bench colorway i'm knitting it on size one needles but not very much got done just a smidge probably like pickup knitting so, um, like waiting in line to pick something yeah. up knitting. And then the thing that did get a lot of work is my Weekender Light. So this is the Weekender Light. It's kind of in a weird place right now because I divided for the front and back. So I have moved on. I'll show you where I was last week. So last week I was all the way down there. And now I am, yep, down there, and now I am all the way up here. So I got a good, like, eight inches done. Um, 
You had a long car ride on Saturday. I did. I apparently dropped some stitches too. I'm going to have to fix that on the edge, of course, because why would it not be easy? Um, so I had a long car ride because I went to the Middle Tennessee Fiber Festival, which was lots of fun in Dixon, Tennessee. And um, my friend Holly drove, and so got lots of carneting done. Six hours, in fact. So yeah, that happened. And um, I've divided for the front. I'm working on the front right now. And maybe there will be more progress next week. Are you still um, alternating? Yes. Okay. Which is going to make this super fun to pick back up. Um, but it'll be fine. Yeah, and now it's worked flat. So now yeah. instead of going around and around and around, it's actually taking me a little bit longer because I have pearl rows. You're a slower pearler than you are. In I the am. For sure. I am slower. So, yeah, um, that is being knit on size two needles. It is the weekend or light. I'm using some yarn from our friend Ponky, who is another crafty girl. It is awesome. Um, when I got in the car, our friend Holly told me that it is n more pretty in real life than it's showing. Like, <laughs> it's not showing up on the screen well. Um, let me rescue these three stitches and then I will show you. I feel like something else happened there. I don't know. So yeah, I think it's super pretty. And it's alternated and I've gotten through the first two full skeins. So now I am on the um, next like two full skeins. Two full skeins. I'm wondering if those stitches, I think they came off one of the other needles actually. Are you done with your works in progress? I am. Sorry. Distracted by drop stitches. Do you want to talk about your spinning? Um, I can. I just have one little tiny spinning thing. And that is some supported spindling I've been doing. So I am doing some supported spindling on um, a woodland handicraft, handcrafts, I think is his name supports teacup spindle. Um, the fiber is from Melanated Boho. And so I have just a smidge of the first ounce left of this one. I have another one in progress too. So I probably have a whole ounce done at this point. So yeah. Are you spinning it all on different spindles or are you um, I'm doing a top and... I'm probably going to use different spindles. Like I have two of these teacup spindles. So I'll probably use two different teacup spindles and yeah. Why do you have two teacup spindles? Why would I not? One was a special order and one when we went to the Woolery, they had some of his spindles. So I picked one up there. So, yep, I have two similar of weight and type spindles. I feel like you probably have more than that. Yeah, maybe. They may look different, but probably weight wise, they're probably yeah, maybe. relatively similar. Yep. So. That is what is going on with that. And supported spindling is interesting because um, when you use like what people call a drop spindle, that's suspended spindling, and the weight of the um, actual spindle has to be supported by the yarn, otherwise it drops. Um, but with supported spindles, it does not. So you can get a lot finer if you care to. I'm sure there are a lot of people who can get super fine on drop spindles, but... Yeah, but you, like, if you have a 10 gram drop spindle, you, your weight of your fiber has to be able to support, and I, as you add more fiber, it gets heavier. I, I understand. Okay. I'm just saying. There's probably some drop spindler out there who's like, I can get cobweb, and that's fantastic. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm sure there is, and there's different weights of spindles that people use, too. But with support, you don't have to support the weight. Yeah, the only type of drop spindle that I enjoy using is a Turkish. Um, I do like supported spindling, but I don't do it very often, so. Um, what else? Oh, I've got some spinning. I finally plied 
the pounds were yes. uh, I had eight ounces of the fiber base was all the same. It was seventy percent merino, thirty percent silk from hip strings. But I had eight ounces of haunted and eight ounces of prose, which were similar colors. They didn't yeah. they weren't all the same, but they were similar colors and so I spun and plied them together. And I'm just trying to get to the end of the row, but it's never gonna happen. And it's still kind of wet. Um, it's very I pretty. I soaked it Saturday and hung it up, but it's still kind of wet. Um, was it Saturday? Or, yeah, it was Saturday. Um, no, you wound it off at my house on Saturday. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I brought, oh, did you bring I, it out that night? I soaked it, yeah. So it's all together, it's around 1,350 yards from a pound. I originally thought it was eight ounces, and I was super proud of myself. And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's, no, it's a pound. Um, I'm still happy with it, but not like as, like, big headed proud as I was. So it's very sort of neutrally. Yeah. It's got like some light purples and grays and there's little pops of a orange. kind of a burnt orange color. And I have no plans for it. It may end up going to SSK as a prize. I haven't decided yet. Um, because it's a you know it's a large amount of hand spun. It is. Which, you know, some people might want. So um, I need to open it up and let it dry or it's going to get like smelly um, but I had twisted it and laid it down on the little footstool in front of where I sit when I was waiting for Laura mm -hmm. and um, Gus decided it would make an excellent play toy yeah so Gus is a cat he uh, took it and was like kicking you know with yeah. his feet his little bottom feet he was thumping it yeah um, and I didn't even notice because I was just like oh he's playing cool and Carly was exhausted from me throwing the ball, so she was just laying on my lap watching him, not going after him, which was nice. Uh, but yeah, so that's spinning. Uh, as far as what I'm reading, I just started a um, Kindle Unlimited uh, book called First Bite, which is a shifter, male male shifter romance. Um, and I. I'm also listening to the Kate Daniels series. Um, I was wrong last week. I started book five. That was the um, magic eating device book. Okay. Oh, you don't remember? I okay. don't remember. Um, and so I just started the sixth one, which is the one where they go overseas and end up in Hugh D'Ambre's claws. Um, so yeah. That's basically what I'm doing. I spent last weekend watching, rewatching the first season of Yellow Jackets because the new one came out. So I watched that last night. What about you? I finished Absolutely True, my middle grade cozy mystery, and enjoyed that immensely and have not been reading really. Have you been watching anything while you've been knitting your Penguins sweater? games? Oh. So. It's still hockey season? It'll be hockey season till June. <laughs> um, so Penguins games and then Will Trent and there's a spinoff of a mystery series I started watching um, there's this now I can't remember there's a mystery series that's set in the Caribbean and there's just like a spinoff where one of the detectives goes back to England uh, Beyond Paradise is the name of the spinoff mm. Death in Paradise is the name of the original show, so I started and watched the first three or four episodes, four episodes of that. But yeah, just been chilling. I've been still listening to the Hidden Legacy series. I have two hours left on book three. They're in a car chase. Matilda gets grabbed by the bad guy. Um, oh, yeah. So, and I'm at that the, point. What's the Zeus... Yep. Is the creature from the other world. I like him. I like any, like, dog-like creature in basically any book, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's about it. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm off two of my meds. Two of my nine meds. So, uh, hopefully... Actually, today's the best I've felt since the beginning of March. So, hopefully that continues. Um, I have been itchy, but not removing my skin itchy so that's good your birthday is this week it is i have a dentist appointment on my birthday happy 42nd to me yep welcome to being a grown-up yep um 
So, yep, that's about it. Nothing really exciting. Yeah. I enjoyed going to Dixon and seeing everyone and seeing um, Mary, who comes to SSK, is super sweet, mm -hmm. the lady who brought us the donuts. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, just enjoyed hanging out with our friend Holly. And yeah. What about Eloise? Did you like going to and hanging out with Eloise? Wasn't she, she with you? No. Oh, I thought she went with you. No. Carol went in, uh, like, Carol and Bob drove their own vehicle. Yeah, I knew Carol drove. So, I just yeah. thought Eloise went with you. Nope. It was just Holly and I. Okay. So, super chill. Um, yeah, and maybe I'll get back to wheel spinning this week. We'll see. I have a month before Ply Away, so I'll be at Ply Away. And I started my packing list yesterday. And you, it's, it's a month away and you've already started your packing list. It's like three weeks, maybe. I figured out today that I only work one full week in the entire month of April. So that was exciting because I have Good Friday off and then the Monday after Easter off. And then two days at Fly Away. So uh, that's exciting. And I got my state testing end of year calendar um, today. So, yeah. I'll be testing every single day that I'm at school for the first couple weeks of May, last week of April. So yeah, not terrible. Do you get to knit when you're testing? Nope. Um, if I'm a hall monitor, I yeah. can, but I'm not a hall monitor. I'm an admin for most of that testing. Tomorrow's testing is ELPT, which is like English language proficiency test for our kids in our English uh, language learners program, EL program, English learners program. So, yep, to see if they can graduate out of that program. So that'll be super chill because it's only like 20 kids testing awesome. and they get all day, so. Um, well, we have a Patreon thing on Friday. Yeah, we have a fail along. Uh, it's going to be us. Curler beads. With curler beads. Laura has some. We should probably experience. do that here. Unless you want to bring. I can just bring my iron. Okay. It, it I think blows. you need wax paper, too. I have that. I can okay. bring that. Um, you oh, have flat is... surfaces. I do not. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't get to control my environment 100%, which is kind of a bummer but um yeah i think that's mostly it it'll be it's a short one this week but yep we know. were fairly monogamous yeah not a lot of interesting stuff to talk about i mean the we fan crochet pattern is really interesting but it's mostly confusing right now so <laughs> maybe once i've i've done the setup rows for all the yarn it'll be less confusing yeah but i'm not there yet so um, so yeah, we hope you guys have an awesome week and if we, if you're a Patreon supporter, thank you and hopefully we'll see you on Friday, but if not, then, uh, we will talk to you guys next week. Bye y'all. Bye.